Hello, well my name is Phyllis Dowling and my connection to Kyandra goes back to 1862 when my great-grandparents Henry and Harriet Harris came to Kyandra with four small children. One of those was became was five year old and he that was George and he became my grandfather. And um, they um, Henry was a butcher by trade and that was what he carried on in Kyandra as a butcher. They had three more children and um, when the uh, three older sons reached manhood, one of them, Robert, um, he took over the slaughter yard and the butcher shop and the other two, my grandfather George and Oliver, they went into grazing pursuits. My grandfather stayed around the area and Oliver, he had Yarrungabilly Station, he eventually bought Yarrungabilly Station. My father was born at Kyandra in 1901 and his mother was born at Kyandra in 1875 and uh, she married George Harris and they lived at Kyandra and uh, Henry Harris also had a property at Glory Hole which was down below Yarrungabilly Caves and in the winter he used to bring his stock down there, it was below the snow line and they would um, kill the beasts um, at Glory Hole, pack them on horseback as far as they could go and then someone would ski out from um, Kyandra with a sled and take the meat back into Kyandra. Well, they were mainly hard-working people. Actually, it must have been quite a shock to my great-grandmother's system because they came. she came from London in uh, 1859. She came out to Australia and then in 1862 she landed at Kyandra and that must have been uh, an awful shock to the system because she came from a family that were reasonably they weren't wealthy, but they were reasonably well off. Her father was a builder, and uh, um, even Henry, he was a butcher by trade, and his father was a butcher, so they would be average, um, you know, middle-class people. And Kyandra in 1862, I don't think would be any great shakes of a place to live. <laughs> but still, she had three children. One was only about um, 12 months old when they came there, the youngest one, and she had three more children, and they all survived. But then they died in young adulthood. Um, Robert cut his hand in the butcher's shop and um, they had to amputate his arm and he died. That was in 1898. Annie, the other one who married a leader, she cut her hand and it went gangrene and she died. He was working in the slaughter yard and the knife slipped and cut his wrist and um, it went gangrene. Of course, there was no antibiotics or you know disinfectants in those days. And um, he was died in for a short period of time. And his wife had two children, they had two little girls and she was expecting another one. After he died, she had another little boy. Uh, and he was called Robert. She married George Irwin, who was the school teacher. But he was um, friends with the Harris family and he did a lot of book work for people in Kyandra because in those days, people didn't have a lot of education. And if anything had to be written, even applications and things that the Harrises wrote for things or other people, George Irwin always did the book work for them. And But he was good friends with the Harris family and I presume when Robert died that he would have helped Winifred at the shop and uh, they were married.